Hello, and welcome to video number two for Advertising Copy and Layout. Um, the first one was just a general introduction. This video is going to be mostly about the syllabus. Um, I'm not going to read you the syllabus. Don't cry. That's okay. I know you wanted me to read it to you, but you're college students, and I think that you're quite capable of reading the syllabus. But there are some highlights that I'd like to hit with you and uh, kind of share with you my perspective on things. And you'll probably get more than your share of my perspective on things. But the first thing I want to do is ask you a question. Are you a creative person? Do you think that you're a creative person? Do you consider yourself to be creative, to have a lot of good ideas? You know, that's okay if you don't. Not everybody feels like they are creative, and a lot of people feel like they are not creative, or not very creative is probably what they would say, when they actually are. And it doesn't matter whether you're right brain, which is supposed to be our creative side, or left brain, which is the analytical side. You may be a funny combination or a wonderful combination of both. So whether you think that you're a creative person at this juncture or not, we're going to work on building that creative flair or getting those, quote, creative juices to uh, flowing, I'm sorry to use the cliche, and we'll talk about cliches um, during this semester quite a bit as we're writing, but I think we can really engender and encourage your creative side, no matter where you feel like you are on the creative scale. Um, as I mentioned in the previous video, advertising, copy, and layout is writing intensive. So that's how I start out my syllabus. This is writing intensive. Um, there will be plenty of writing assignments, um, but a lot of focus also on um, visual as well as writing. Even though we won't be designing, the visual is going to matter very much and your vision for that is going to matter very much. Um, my syllabus talks very much about learning outcomes. I think you can read those learning outcomes that are at the very top of the syllabus, but um, most importantly, I, I want to share with you, and I, I think I mentioned this briefly in the first video, that um, we're going to start at the very basics of creating advertising and persuasive messages with research, and that's really where it starts, is with research and data and basing a plan, or what we might end up calling a creative brief, we'll base our plan on that research and data so that we're not just guessing or assuming, which you've heard what happens to people who assume. Um, we'll base it, our advertisements and our uh, persuasive writing and our um, concepts on actual research. And I think that that's really important. So we'll spend quite a bit of time talking about research, uh, but jumping right into the writing as well. Um, but first, before we start writing, we need to do some brainstorming. So we'll talk about brainstorming. You'll do some of that with your teams. And then after you've created your plan, we'll actually start writing. And then we'll also not just write, but we'll concept or create the concepts for the visuals that will go along with it. And then we'll do that sort of creation and writing process in numerous different medias or mediums, um, print, radio, television, outdoor advertising, which some people call billboards, and then for press release. And that area, you may say, what does that have to do with advertising? Well, I can tell you that writing a good press release for your product or your program 
or your company is extremely important to marketing and advertising as well as public relations. So we'll um, be working on those as well. And then there'll, we'll also include a little bit of online writing. Uh, one of the key things for you is going to be that you check D2L and my postings every day or every day or two. You don't want to get too far behind because I'm going to be setting up D2L in weekly modules and, it, and assignments will be due weekly and sometimes a couple times weekly. So you need to stay on top of things. Deadlines are very important in working in advertising and PR and as well as um, what we all know as being important in, in journalism. But I had an advertising deadline today. I had another one on Friday. If I hadn't met it, I'd be in quite a bit of trouble. So um, turning things in on time is going to be very important. And so being alert to what's going on on D2L is going to matter. I hope that you will do that. Um, <clears throat> Uh, as I said, I've got a whole list of learning outcomes for you in your syllabus as I'm scrolling through. Um, but I've also got weekly assignments, and I've not been terribly specific in the syllabus. That leaves me a little bit of wiggle room. And, um, and yet it is following a logical progression. We're going to start by talking about ourselves and introducing ourselves. Um, and when we can meet, talking about when we can meet, we will just talk about advertising in general. Then we'll move on to talking about how important branding is and how one does that in advertising. We'll talk about the importance of research and situation analysis and what that means and how that's going to help predicate what we do as far as our advertising plan goes. And then that advertising plan is called a creative brief. And so we will talk about creating creative briefs and the elements that go into that, such as taglines, slogans, the headlines, and then the body copy. Um, and then we'll modulate that into working for radio format in radio advertising, for television advertising, um, and then for some outdoor media or billboards. And then we'll, we will conclude sort of our differing areas of writing with press release writing. Um, about midterm, we will start talking and I will make assignments, it might be a little bit after midterm, for your final project, which will constitute 50% of your grade because it is comprehensive. It will be, uh, it will include all the different or a number of the different kinds of advertising assignments, all packaged for one client. Um, but. I'll make all that very clear and you'll have plenty of time to be working on that, to be researching, to be uh, conceiving ideas, maybe running some ideas by the class and your classmates and by me. And uh, so that's why starting about midterm on that is really important. Um, assignments will be turned in through Dropbox. And if there are problems with Dropbox or with D2L, you can always shoot me an email and um, we'll work on that. We'll resolve how you can get things to me. But I don't anticipate that there will be problems and um, they, they would be unusual, the exception to the rule. Um, I do have a note about plagiarism and making sure that you cite sources on all of your assignments. And we'll certainly talk about that in our synchronous meetings, but also I will talk about that in my videos. Um, and, and I don't anticipate that there will be problems with that either. Now, at the very bottom of your syllabus, I discuss, or I don't discuss, but I have information on your textbook, and I've got um, 
a file here that you can look at from Cengage Learning about Creative Strategy and Advertising, the 11th edition, which is your textbook. It's a pretty expensive textbook, but you'll see from the um, file that I have here for you that you don't have to buy it in hard copy, although it is available in the bookstore, that you have some other options, online options, rental options, and uh, we will be using it. And I think that it will be a good resource for you and, and possibly a good resource for you on the long term. Another good resource for you on the long term, and I've got a slide for that as well, is the AP Style Book. It's the journalist's Bible, and it's really used throughout media, whether it's journalism, advertising, or public relations, or marketing in general. So we will be adhering, or I will expect you to adhere, to AP Style. I am an AP Style nerd. So be forewarned, I like to joke that you should sleep with it under your pillow so you can learn from it through osmosis if necessary. And it's just my dearest friend. So I, I will be kind of a stickler about uh, using AP style in all the things that you write for this class. And uh, I think that you'll, you'll find that that will benefit you too when you go out in the world and work in differing agencies or for differing companies because it is a consistent style that is used um, in all media. And so that's the crux of things as far as the syllabus. I don't want to just drag on about it because, as I said, you're quite able to read it. And then I'll be posting your differing assignments on D2L and hopefully they will be clear and easy to understand. I will have videos that I will post at least I am expecting once every week and sometimes there will be collateral videos, collateral materials from other folks, maybe me talking with uh, professionals, maybe um, something I've found online that I wanna share with you. There will be other materials and lots of handouts. Again, if you have any questions, concerns, um, as we say in Carter County, give me a holler. That's because most of us live in the holler. And I just wanted to let you know that I am excited about this semester. I think that it's going to be a great creative experience where you possibly learn new things about your mind and your creativity and gain some additional confidence in your ideas if you're not already confident in your creative process. And we've got some good cold winter weather coming so uh, we can stay warm together at our computers or on our tablets and on our cell phones and um, on our WebEx conversations. And I just thought I'd leave you with a little tune about it's the most wonderful time of the year. We're gonna be studying and huddling and brainstorming here. It's the most wonderful time of the year. So I'll talk to you again soon. I'll see you on D2L.